Adios. Now, here's Dominic Carter on Talk Radio 77 WABC. And we start with Highland Park outside of Chicago. So we already know, I talked about this at what I believe uh, uh, the 4th of July night, that uh, Mr. Uh, Cremo, the 21-year-old wannabe rapper, had threatened to kill everyone in his family, uh, leading cops to remove the dagger, the sword, and a collection of 16 knives from the home. Just three months later, three months later, his father, Robert Cremo Jr., sponsored the alleged shooter when he applied for a firearm owner's identification card when he applied for a fire a firearm owner's identification card and so while the father is shirking if you will his responsibility i want you to listen to this young lady describing how her mother was killed in front of her i saw the shooter shooting down at the kids and I told her that it was a shooter and that she had to run. So I started running with her and we were next to each other and he shot her in the chest and she fell down and I knew she was dead. So I just told her that I loved her, but I couldn't stop because he was still shooting everyone next to me. What's the memory that you want to share with us about your mom? I want to share how she was before she died. She was waving to the floats. Every float that went by, she waved to them. And... She was having fun. Yep. Mm -hmm. She was just a good mom. And I got 22 years with her. 22 years with her mother. Do you think that young lady's going to be okay? We hope so. We pray that she is but she is probably going to need therapy for the rest of her natural life. And now we find out that the alleged gunman painted this creepy mural on the outside of his mother's house on the back. Now, folks, to see this mural, anybody in their right mind would say, we have to call 911 right away and get this individual uh, psychiatric uh, help. And I'm going to your telephone calls in just one second, but it shows a character standing there clutching what appears to be a high powered rifle. And the head of the character has a yellow happy face. And the father is saying that the young man was just expressing his art with the image and that it didn't really mean anything to see this mural mural should have said emergency psychiatric services are needed immediately. What, what planet are these parents on? Let's go to your telephone calls. 800-848-WABC 800 to to Pete in New Hampshire. Good morning. What's on your mind? Don, I spent the whole holiday thinking about this. I, I try to break it all down. And in my mind, I'm going to tell you several things. Number one, there's nothing wrong in our country. It's some of the people in it. They are whacked. Number one. Number two, Don, oh, by the way, thank you for Taking my phone call. Of course. Number two, Dom, the parenting skills are gone away in this country. And that, that, the Uvalde shooting in Texas, Dom, if you go back to Sandy Hook, if you look at all the mass shootings, Dom, in this country with these young, these, I'll call them little baby children, I'm going to be kind here, Okay. If you look at the history of it, Dom, and you break it all down, I've learned one thing. It all goes back to the parent, the home structure, and that is the key, Dom, to all of this crap 
that's being thrown out there in this world today. Well, you know, Pete, well, perhaps you're you're right. But it's one thing to just simply be a bad parent. It's something else to enable your son who has uh, he's already indicated clearly uh, that 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 he wants to do something very bad. And you make it possible for him to get a weapon. Our third story tonight and this one. The best way I can summarize this is to say, have you seen the video? Women, three women in their 20s, destroy a Manhattan business, leaving employees bloodied for a dollar and 75 cents, vandalizing a Bell Fries business on the Lower East Side of Manhattan and throwing all kinds of objects at its employees. It's not cute. It's not funny. And frankly, Dr. King and other civil rights leaders have to be turning over in their graves. People emailed me this video all day long, including Curtis Sliwa. And this happened apparently July 3rd. The women in the video, I don't know if they were intoxicated. I don't know what happened, but the behavior was not very ladylike. In fact, they put the WWE to embarrassment. That's how bad it was. Wrecking the store, upset that extra sauce cost a dollar and 75 cents. One employee ends up in the hospital with head injuries. All three women were arrested. After looking at this disgusting video, this is absolute proof. The way progressives want to handle things is the wrong way to go. No one said, hey, I'm going to be real with you folks right now. No one said, young sister, you're embarrassing our people right now. Please don't do this. This is not the place or the time to do something like this. Look at historically where black people had to fight for the right to vote. And this is how you're going to honor that legacy by completely showing your at this establishment. All of the young men there, they thought it was funny. I guess they liked the twerking. They thought it was funny. This is what's wrong from city to city to city. Progressives have basically ruined America. I said it.